In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to align different dimensions based on a time dimension. And I'll explain more what that means in a second. And uh, the, 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 the story behind this is to do a quick analysis of who the best three-point shooters of all time are in the NBA. So the first thing I had to do was get the data. So if I go over here to Wikipedia, you can see that they have a nice list of each of the players with their career three-point goals made. So uh, the first is Ray Allen, then Reggie Miller, etc. And if I scroll down, really the person I'm interested in is Steph Curry, who's currently tied for 40th. So what I did was I took each person's name, each player's name, put it into basketballreference.com, typed their name in here, hit enter, and you can see I get this nice little summary of all of their career stats. I copied that into Excel, and I end up with this long list of um, the top 20 players plus Steph Curry. So a total of 21 players in my spreadsheet. I then connected that to Tableau and created an extract. So I have this data set here. So what I want to do is I want to look at for each player and each season that they played, how many three-point field goals did they have? So I'm going to start by building a simple table because I think this is the easiest way to understand if my calculations are working okay. So this is great, um, but what I want to know is this is my individual um, three-pointers made for each season, but really what I want is the cumulative total field goals by player by season. So to do that, I'm going to go to my three-pointers made um, measure, and I'm going to add a table calculation, make it a running total, and instead of table down, well actually let me go ahead and hit table down first. If I hit table down and then OK, you'll see it just goes all the way down the table and at the very end we're at 40,000. That's not what I want though, I want this to, to uh, only count for each player. So I'm going to go back into the table calculation and instead of table down here in the running along, I'm going to choose advanced. And this is where a great tip from uh, the Tableau Customer Conference, Bronson Schonk has this great video for Are You Smart as a Tableau Consultant? And within there, he gives this great tip for how to understand partitioning and addressing within table calculations. So I highly recommend you watch that video. And what he recommended was basically move everything to the right-hand side in this partitioning and addressing window and make sure on the right-hand side that the hierarchy is built the same as you have in your table. So I want it by player by season. Great, so I have it by player by season. And then I need to add a sort, which is going to be by season. And then I'm going to do the minimum season. So it's just going to do 1997, 98, etc. through the years. And then inside of this window, what I need to do is I need to tell Tableau to restart every player. Hit OK. And now you can see uh, Chauncey, it starts with Chauncey Billups, and he started, he had 214 his first season, etc. And then Dale Ellis, 12, you'll see it resets for each player. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create a calculated field called index. Because I need, if you'll notice, each of the players does not start in the same season. So 1983, Dale Ellis started in 1983, whereas Chauncey Billups started in 1997. What I want to do is I want to I want to level set each of their seasons, so every season that each player started should be season one and then season two, etc. So I created an index function, and I'm going to drag that into the view as well. And you can see it's just going down the table, so it's just basically counting my rows. Well, I need to do something basically the same thing I did for counting my three pointers. So I'm going to edit this table calculation, and instead of table down, I'm going to go to advanced, and I'm going to rebuild my hierarchy just like I did before choose my sort by season minimum. Let's hit OK. And again, I need to restart for every player. Hit OK. And you can see that what Tableau is doing now is for each player, it's just basically counting the number of seasons they played. So Chauncey Billups played 17 seasons. Dale Ellis played 17 seasons. Dirk Nowitzki has played 18, etc. So it keeps going down that way. So awesome, I've got my table the way I want, and I want to save this calculation for my uh, cumulative three-pointers. So I'm going to just drag that over here to the measures window and call it cumulative three-pointers. Hit OK, and you'll see I now have a nice name. So I'm going to duplicate this sheet because I don't want to lose my work. All right, so from here, what I want to do is I want to have a chart that goes left to right by season uh, for, each, for each player for three-pointers. So I'm going to take index and move that to the columns. 
I'm going to take my cumulative three pointer, move that to the rows. And then I'm going to take player and season and move those to detail. So you can see we've got the, these are basically years going left to right or number of seasons played. So maybe that's actually a better, maybe I should actually rename my index field to seasons played. That might make a little more sense. Hit OK. And you can see that Kobe Bryant is in his 20th season right now. So what we want to do now is change my mark type to a line. And you can see I've got a nice, I'm going to switch it to fit entire view, and I've got a nice little line chart, and you can see how these players um, uh, uh, achieved their, or accumulate, accumulated their three-pointers over time. So you can see we've got Ray Allen up here at the top, and we have uh, Dirk Nowitzki down here at the bottom, etc. So very good. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to find Steph Curry, because really my story is about Steph Curry. So I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field. I'm just going to call it Steph Curry, Stephen Curry. And I'm just going to say player equals Steph Curry. That's going to just re result in a true false. And I'm going to drag that to color. And you can see, OK, there we go. There's Steph Curry. I want him to be at on top of the other players, so I'm just going to move true to the top so that line always sticks on top. But now, maybe I should use the colors of the Golden State Warriors. Maybe that'll make it stand out a little bit better. So I'm just going to double click on my color legend and go to true. And maybe I want this to be the blue of the Golden State Warriors. Well, I don't see that in my selection list. I don't see, you know, any, any of these. Uh, well, I do have the Warriors here, but let's pretend I didn't. So I'm going to just double click on this color legend. And I'm going to click on my color picker. From there, I'm going to switch over to this Team Color Finder website, teamcolors.arc90.com. And I can see down here it has the official Golden State Warriors colors. So I'm going to click on the little eyedropper and pick the blue and hit OK. And then maybe I want the falses to be the Warriors yellow and hit OK. And now when I go back over to Tableau, you can see I've got my colors the way I want it, and I can clearly see where Steph Curry is. All right, so then uh, maybe what I will do is I'll put Steph Curry onto the labels, and that'll basically label them true and false, and uh, eh, that's not quite what I was hoping for. So uh, from there, you could do, um, you know, you could easily swap this out for different metrics if you wanted to or things like that. But you can see how Steph Curry is accumulating his three pointers compared to other players throughout history. So um, it might be where we should factor out maybe the 2015-16 season because it's, uh, it's only a partial season. So I'm going to drag that to the filters and I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to do... Uh, let's see, none, and then I'm going to just exclude 20, 15, 16. And there we go. Maybe that's a little bit of a better view because now you can see through six seasons, Steph Curry is by far the, uh, the greatest three-point shooter of all time. Kyle Korver was second. He had 948 at this point. But Steph Curry, through six seasons, had 1,199 three-pointers. So um, that's about it. So you can see nice and neat you can how you can easily align align time for for these players. Um, and I hope I uh, hope you enjoyed this tip.